what's going on? Uh, I thought I would just give everybody a complete rundown of the steps in my process to photograph a pair of jeans. Now, I picked these up. They got this uh, red tag. Red tag sale! Uh, this place likes to use staples, so I have to remove the original tag and staples. And uh, so what we'll do is we'll just set them on the edge of the bed here. And then I got my custom tags I had printed. Got them all cut out. Put them on my tag gun. Stick it on there. I'll grab one of my finest hangers. Kind of try to um, even up the seams so that when they're hanging up, the shape of the jean is equal on both sides. You don't want them looking all lopsided in the picture. But taking good pictures and making a good listing with good pictures, it's all about tapping into the potential buyer's subconscious mind. It's like, it's really an art form. Um, some Companies and some in smaller individuals are really good at it. You look at their listings and you say, wow. Um, yep. So we got it on the hanger. We got our custom tags on there so that it's shown in the picture. Um, I feel like that kind of tickles the buyer's mind. They see a tag hanging there. And um, we're going to go into the photo studio. All right. We inside the bathroom photo studio we got the homemade softbox lighting clamped to the edge of the drawer near the counter there facing it here and the reason why i made my own softbox was because a lot of my pictures towards the bottom were coming out looking dingy and around the edges and i kind of just point it down and let it it kind of makes the around the item in the background look a little more pure white so, for my first shot, I just hang the pair of jeans up. I try to take this little crotch area and fold it so the legs are nice and even. If there's some dust or pet hair, I'll hit it with a lint brush. Because sometimes people zoom in and their subconscious picks up on a little bit of dirt or pet hair or anything that's stuck to the item. So, I'm going to try to get that, try to make sure it's nice and even. And then I'll take one full shot and try to leave a little bit of space around the whole pair of jeans in the shot. And then I'll take one close up of right here so they can see what the pocket shape is and zoom in and see this area. And then sometimes I'll just take a picture from here down right there, the legs and maybe just one shot of the upper part. So I'll take the whole thing here, the bottom half, and then the top half. And then I'll flip them over, and I'll take a shot of the whole back of it. And then I'll take a shot of just the upper part. And then I'll take one shot of just near the pocket. Sometimes I use that for my first picture, the pocket, if it's like a um, seven fan dojo or a, a, a A-pot or some, something that the back pocket distinguishes it. Or um, And <clears throat> Prof Sale says he likes the rear shot as the first shot in the listing because girls are always concerned about, oh, my booty don't look fat, do it? Uh, yeah, so I'll take one hole and then the top half and then the pocket if there's something wrong, like excessive wear, I would take a picture of the leg ends. And then, yep, then I'll take it in here, put it on the bed for some flat lays. Now, <clears throat> I'll move in here to my bed to do some flat lays, and I'll use these pieces of colored poster board. And the reason why I do that is because, you know, you throw it on the bed, somebody sees your bed spread in the background, or if you throw it in the floor, they see the texture of carpet in the back. And they're like, their subconscious mind is picking up on it and saying, ugh, these jeans have been in the floor. Or 
Uh, I don't know if that person's washed their bedding <laughs> lately. Um, I mean, the N Nicole State fuzzy, fuzzy rug idea, to some people that might appeal to them. And um, I kind of feel like it may tell your buyer's subconscious mind that something's dirty about this item. And um, <clears throat> this color poster board, my theory behind it was that maybe if you have a pair of women's jeans, a female might respond to a certain color. Um, nine times out of ten, if I've asked a girl what their favorite color was, they'll say something like green or purple or blue or if they like pink they like pink and black <clears throat> so if I have a dark pair of jeans I might put it on a green or pink background and I do that because I think they recommend that you use a plain white background but I want to be different I want someone to be flipping through things and see a solid green you know, green's the color for go. <laughs> go, click here. I'm just trying to find a way to tap into the buyer's subconscious mind <clears throat> and get them to, to click on my listing. And so I'll get my work area set up with my little phone numbers and my measuring tape. And so I have everything right here in this accessible. I guess I could use professional looking text overlays and take the time to edit the photos but that would take time and it looks more computer generated and like a giant company did it I want to have a professional appearance but I also want to try to appeal to people who like mom and pop stores that personal service so I put the jeans out here and I'll even up the waist and kind of stretch it out and I'll let it go and let it relax and I'll measure the waist just from this edge to that edge. So that's 32, 4, 34. And I'll line it up right there. And then I'll put doo -doo 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 -doo. 4, 34, like that. <coughs> then I'll hold my camera way up here and I'll take a picture of it, you know, with the I guess this camera ain't a good place to see, for example, but I'll do it like that. And then for my next shot, I'll put a pair of jeans like this. And I'll take it from this scene to the edge of the leg. It's 22 inches. So I'll put little phone numbers here. I'll scooch them out the way. Spell out the word inseam. Just like that. And these are 22. So I have this so they can see the measuring tape at the end of the leg that it measures 22. I have it in bigger letters that kind of pop out and grab their attention. They can see real easy how this measures. 22 inches and then I do this shot so if they zoom in on it they can see the leg in see if there's any wear on it there and I'll pull them up here spread her legs and I'll measure the rise I'll just take it from the top down to this seam it's 11 and a half Sometimes I don't even use the word rise, or I just take a picture of what it may. I get a little lazy when it comes to that one. And we'll spell out the word rise. And we have 11. So we'll put like that, 11. And then I have these smaller ones in a little blue strip I made to make a one half. Sometimes if it, if it measures a quarter, I'll kind of scooch the tape towards one end or the other. I mean, just so it's easier for them to accept in their mind when they're looking at it. Because, yeah, 12 inches sounds better than 12 and a quarter. If you, I don't know. So I'll put 
and then I'll take a picture from up here. So in that. And then do, 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 do. I'll show I'll pull this down. And so I can take a picture of the size and the brand and all of that information. When I do this shot, I usually put my Tyvek band in there and try to make the shot up just like this so they can see the detail of the button and they can see what size and what brand you know there'll be different styles and stuff in here can you see that and if there wasn't anything wrong with the pair of jeans and all of that equals 11 pictures i have one more picture because i try to use all 12. i'll do a, another flat lay shot of it i'll put that up like that that like that then below the rear pocket I'll put my little tie back band here and I'll take a picture like this. Just this part right here. <clears throat> and that's pretty much how I do my jeans. I'm going to take my pictures. Um, I'll take pictures of them one at a time and I'll lay them up next to my computer in the floor and take pictures in that order, list them in that order, and then put them in the location bin in that order. Try to do all my jeans at once and all my shirts at once. And Yep, that's how we're getting them done here. Y'all be good.